Want to get you back out to Newtown now. One of the folks who's been on the ground for us uh, here tonight throughout the day and into the evening. News 8's Jamie Muro is there and has had a chance to to talk uh, in particular with Lieutenant um, Paul Vance of the Connecticut State Police and others. And uh, Jamie, what strikes you most now that uh, that you've had a chance to talk, uh, not just hear him in a news conference, but also talk one on one with him? I think what's interesting, Chris, you know, Lieutenant Vance well, too, is he has this role, this responsibility to come out here before an army of media and all of us asking, frankly, probing questions because this story is so troubling and we want to get all these answers. People are craving these answers. And so he has to put on that professional uh, demeanor to the press. But at the same time, I mean, you know, he is a father, he's a grandfather. And so, you know, he, you, you figure he has to take that home with him as well. And, and it really is, and he said this, and we're going to keep hearing this word a lot, that horrific word, but it's a word that he used frequently, that it's probably the most horrific things he has ever seen. And, and I don't think that can go, uh, that is not an understatement considering what this particular man has seen through in his career. And, you know, from the time that shortly after the shootings happened till just really a few minutes ago, our News 8 crews have been talking to so many people and so many people expressing their feelings about this, but at the same time, and as you're going to hear, having a hard time finding just the right words. If words are to be offered for comfort, how difficult it is to find one word, one phrase, to capsulate the magnitude of tragedy surrounding Newtown, Connecticut. When I first heard this, I, you know, I felt a lot of rage, and uh, I got in my car, and I was very grateful that they were safe. Um, and as I was driving down the road and, and getting here, I started to feel a tremendous amount of gratitude that they were safe. And I felt, felt a tremendous amount of empathy and compassion for the, the families that have been shattered as a result of this, this madness. 28 dead, 28 lost souls who will never grab a diploma, walk down a wedding aisle, celebrate the birth of a grandchild. And for what? It doesn't even seem real. It just does not seem like it's even possible. It's like you, you know, you read it in the paper, or see it in the news. And you're like, oh my God, that poor family. And then you have it, something happen so close to home. It's like, I think I'm still in shock. Newtown, traditionally, historically quiet, quaint. All that lost for now by one man who destroyed so much, took so much. Indeed, there are no words to absorb this kind of loss. I thought of 9-11, and I thought this is 9-11 on steroids, at least for me. And again, that man means no disrespect to the victims of 9-11, but again, when you look at the size of this town and the scope of this tragedy, that's how it's hitting people here. And I think, again, when you're talking about Chris and Ann finding those words, and you see Governor Daniel Malloy, who is used to speaking to the press, he did it as the mayor of Stanford, does it, has done it plenty in his career as governor, especially with the fiscal problems that this state has been facing the past couple of years. Talking to the press is almost second nature. But he stands in front of this podium today really having a difficult time trying to summarize the day. Because as much as we're going to break this down, in the end, it just does not make sense. This type of violence does not make sense. So where do you find those words? And then getting back to what you asked me about, Lieutenant Vance, you know, the state police go in there. They need to look at all the shell casings and where these, uh, where the victims lie and, and how this person got into the school and et cetera, and et cetera, all that. But again, there's also that toll of human emotion that it's going to take on the investigators, medical personnel, and then really the entire town and you could even say that the state as a whole and the words that are going to follow in the coming days trying to explain how we wrap ourselves around this tragedy guys